Kelly, let's get into this uh, blacks and uh, whites in the news this morning. Yeah, it kind of got brought up in the office. I walked in, I was just kind of watching the news, just going, geez. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus, look again. Oh, no. Oh, what are they up to now? Oh, my God. One after another. Black people. Ah! Wreaking havoc. <laughs> and then white news. <laughs> what was white news today, by the way? White news was a silly white guy in a bikini. All right, yeah. <laughs> Get a load of this story. Oh, there he is. If you will. There he is. A firefighter was caught last night wearing... Give this a bikini and a wig. Ah, and he had these flesh-colored water balloons uh, as bosoms. <laughs> <laughs> and that's white news. Murder! Blacks! Race! Blacks! And Patrice put it all in perspective. And he walked in. Because I'm just sitting there going, what the hell is going on with your people? And he, and he looked, and he's watching story after story, and he just goes, oh! Well, white people must have done something really bad yeah. today because now they're just putting on all the black people doing awful things to cover up with something that uh, whitey must have done. Yeah. So you uh, immediately ask Keith. Horrible. Y'all did something. <laughs> you immediately ask Keith the cop what happened. <laughs> what, what did you guys what do, do now? What did what Keith the cop, what did y'all do? To do? What did y'all do? Who did y'all <laughs> shoot 41 times? <laughs> something happened. Hey, we're up to 50 now. They reported that that guy that the, the last... Uh, uh, for trial for killing the black dude yeah. they reported that he went out the day before and ate a lot of food like that was the white news that the cop who killed the black guy right right went out and raised went out with his friends before he had to get invited with his friends and, yeah, and which kind is of well, just a jail going to jail he went to a trendy restaurant and, and he yeah. spent about $1,200 all right, here's, here's the black story with the kid, and then we'll do the white story. All right. All right, here's an image you never thought you would see. A two-year-old wearing diapers, holding an AK-47 <laughs> given to him by his father, and all of it caught on tape. Mm -hmm. husband asks to see an AK-47, and as soon as the girl hands it to him, he calls this small child over and tells him, Daddy's buying you this AK, this chopper, he called it. Chopper. Daddy's going to buy you a chopper so you can become a soldier. The father proceeded oh, to show the child how to hold, load, and operate the weapon. The man did not buy the gun, and the owner of the store never got the man's name. Jesus. How about the owner of the store says, look, I, I, you can't buy that gun if you're handing it to a kid. The video is great, amazing. though. The kid's in a little diaper, and he's just holding Oh, my God, a little kid holding the chopper. Holding the chopper. His father saying he wants to be a soldier. But, geez, I'm going to feel real bad when the race war comes, because I, I like you. But the, the, the race war, it's inevitable. With stories like that, black people buying the guns, se setting up the kids, saying there's like, you know, you're going to be a soldier? I want you to be a soldier with the chopper? Yeah, but... Race war! Here's the, the, the thing about it, though, Anthony, is that it's not, it's not for white folks. That AK-47 no. got my name on it. You understand? It got some other dude's name on it that's from around his way. Black people like that are not killing white folks. They're not doing the right thing. I own an AK-47. I own an AK. And it's for black folks. Anybody who buys a gun in this country is for black folks to shoot a black person. <laughs> it's to shoot Even black, black people. people. When black people buy guns, it's for black people. When white people buy oh, guns, I got it's for black people. people. Okay. Yes. There you go. Then how come whitey gets hit sometimes? I, he's when? Just, he's just kind of in the way. <laughs> in the way? Yeah. Uh, how the about... He right. gets astray every once in a while. Uh, that that uh, girl that stepped up and said, what are you going to do, shoot me? Remember her here in New York City? Well, she was just stupid. That was pretty you know, stupid. Hey, can young. we get to the... Uh, a bunch of black guys, and they were uh, holding a gun on this uh, uh, couple. Uh, it's actually a group that walked out of a bar, and they were kind of drunk, and they were robbing them. And, Lower East uh, Side. Yeah, Lower East Side. And, and they pulled a gun, and the girl said, what are you going to do, shoot me? The girl said, okay. Yeah. So the guy said, well, now uh, I got now it. Now I got it. Now I got it. Mm -hmm. You challenged me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> here's uh, here's the bikini story. Come on, everyone's talking about it. Love the bikini Make sure story. you watch a little TV and check out the video. It's where the picture... Yeah, that they're using it's just priceless. A firefighter in Ohio was in some hot water this morning for an alleged a drunken stroll and drive, but uh, it was what he was wearing that caught some attention. Check it out. Volunteer fireman Stephen Cole donned a woman's wig and a string bikini. 
And then cops say he drove and walked around the neighborhood. He told the cop he was going to a bar to perform. That's just wrong. He said he was going to perform as a woman in a contest with a $10,000 prize. Cole pleaded not guilty to drunk driving, public indecency, and disorderly conduct. See, they're all laughing. Uh, it's like, ha, ha, come on, there's a oh, contest. But I guess he was walking around all day like that or something. Uh, good gravy. Walking around the neighborhood like that all day? <laughs> yeah. And he had, like, he was sick or had flu symptoms, so he started his day by uh, drinking a beer or something. Well, like you got to. If you feel sick, you got to, you know, sweat it out. Sweat it out. Wait, a little brandy? And then uh, one beer led to another. That led to another. Next thing you know, you're walking around with the bikini. He's drunk, place. walking around with a bikini and a blonde wig. And I like how when the cops got him down at the station, they took, like, a bunch of pictures of him <laughs> with the wig on and the bikini. Right. Like, they could have just let, they could have just let him take his mug shots. They could have definitely taken the, the wig off before the shots and definitely yeah. taken out the, the water balloon boobs. The water balloon boob implant yeah. that he put in. I mean, like, just, just white hijinks. Yeah, some hijinks. When the some cops get hijinks. him down at the station house, they just snap some pictures and let him go on his own <laughs> recognizance. <laughs> Hey, sexy lady. Yeah, come here, huh? Hey, don't, come on, fellas, don't do this. Come on, I'm a civil servant with you guys. Yeah. Ah, hijinks. What are you kidding me? The police and the firemen, uh, they don't get along. No. They were so happy that they got one of these guys. Hey, look what we got. You think that picture's going to end up on his locker? <laughs> <laughs> you don't think there's a disparity, though, there? Oh, what do you, yeah. With what, what? With the, with the, with the with tone the of the news. The That's kind of goofy. The tone. Can I yeah. tell you something? The, the guy, the guy that reported that story is a is a black newsman. Yeah, but they they aren't real yeah, black, they're, black they're, people. They're the fake blacks. They've been no, they're not a fake. But it's just look, golden handcuffs. It's so hard to stay angry. <laughs> golden handcuffs. Where, when you buy a house, it's hard. So they just say, read the news with a little more love, and then it's just yeah, well, why Leroy do you... have next is, and they go look. Color the news is colorless, and they and they convince Leroy the newsman that the news it has no color. And the next there's a black child who hey he smokes weed, and the next news you know white people white people tickle each other to death. <laughs> <laughs> That's how fun white people well, are. Well, Patrice, you gotta think now. When when a, a couple of black guys are getting a little kid three years old or whatever the hell it was high, making him smoke weed, that's gotta like like white people just don't. How come? How come you do can, that? How come, I, and when you when a black when a black person is doing something on the news, right? That weed thing. Mm -hmm. It's it's that. Well, whoever's doing it, that horrible Negro, right? And and represents all the rest of the horrible Negro. Right, when right. White people do stupid stuff. They blame society. They blame like mm -hmm. you know, white girl goes out and and shoots herself because she gains twenty pounds. That's is it? Society making it skinny important. Yeah. So now that this poor, sane white girl killed herself, it's like, why is it, there's some other blame when it's white people, but black people, the weed thing. Where, give me the news where, where white people do stuff. You know what it is? You don't have to care about each other. That's what it is. Mm. Fan can go out and, and do some stuff, but it doesn't represent white people. It just represents Stan. Right. <laughs> True. You're right. Anytime somebody black does something, it represents Every single black person. So don't you think it's the responsibility of black people to not screw up? No. Everyone. Because why should we have to? Everybody screw up. You gotta work a little harder at first. You gotta kind of work. You guys, I don't think you guys ever went through the process of working real hard to say, hey, let's get our crap together. Let's yeah. just, let's just I'm show, sorry, wait, slow down. let's okay. just show wait, 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 everybody. Repeat, you repeat that again. Okay. Let, let you say as a people. Get together and say... As who people? As so black as people. A, wait, as a dude... The problem right? is you guys don't yeah. have meetings. Wait a minute. As a... We do have meetings. <laughs> you don't really have we meetings. We have meetings. We go, hey, man. We do We're have looking meetings. dumb on the news. We gotta, we gotta like, uh, calm but we don't down. go. we don't go to them. We just, yeah. We just know what's going on. We just uh, yeah, we have like a telepathy or something. that understands... You're too, you're too busy looking good in public. Instead of getting real setting stuff trends. Done. Yeah, setting I think you guys gotta and... take a little time out, though. And, and suck it up. And just go, look, we're all going to be good for a little while. And then white people go like, wow, black people have been really good for a while. There's yeah, right. one dude with his kid with an AK-47, right? Mm -hmm. And everybody else is working. Black gun stores are loaded with black are people giving out their kids of guns. your minds? <laughs> with as many things that make white people look ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. How come, like we were talking about the serial killer, we, I should fear every white man walking up the street as a potential person that could eat me. 
Right, because of the serial killer or thing. Kill it's me. always profiled as a middle-aged white guy. Right, I understand. That's what you do. You know what it is, Why isn't that representative of what you guys do? Percentages. Black people make up 10% of the population, so now there's a problem because it's, it's not an even uh, divide. See, with the amount of, uh, if 10% of the population, you, we should never see even one person First giving their all, kids a gun on the news. A black murderer usually kills about one dude. Yeah. A white murderer kills about 50. So, it, it, when you're doing the percentages, yeah. one dude takes care of an entire, that is his percentage. <laughs> when 10% of the people kill a one dude, that, uh -huh. that's representative. One white mm. guy killed 50 I want to swear so bad. <laughs> yeah. One, you, when you, and then you, and then you. White people are just smarter. You're just I mean, so bored. <laughs> the guy, exactly. The guy's smart enough to figure out how to kill 50 people without get getting away with it. get away with it. And then. Uh, black people, they boom, and, you know, in the middle of the day with cameras rolling. It's an emotional thing. Murder's yeah. a really right, emotional thing. Let's move on out of the crap today. Man was shot in front of a bodega today. Like, I, I want to watch one of those uh, shows on uh, A&E. A&E. Five second investigations. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing but black crime. A man was shot in the bodega. Police caught him with the see, gun in his hand, saying, see, "Yeah, I, I did it." When it hold on, hold on. No, I. No, yes. CS. When, when it comes to, when it comes to black crime, you, you don't have to wait for stuff to be invented to solve the crime. Yeah, twenty years later, they right. come up with a process where they could figure out right, how right. to pull something right. off a gun. So right. if he did that, would that make it better? Yeah, probably would. Would, would you feel much better? Would you Would you be less Dude. afraid of us? Let me tell you something. Black people, two black guys, got into a, a car, drove around, and sniped people, white people, mm -hmm. and, and, and killed uh, quite a few people, uh, terrorized people. But which, by the way, you talking about the, the DC sniper? The DC sniper, and, and which, which at, the, at the they thought because the crime was so ingenious, it was they thought it was a white. Oh, let me tell you something. The white world applauded uh, those two. Like, they wow, really damn, gave them look credit. At this. And let me tell you something. They got some cred in the white world. We don't walk around though fearing that black people are going to snipe us from vehicles. Because that was one of those... Now, uh, that was a case where that showed up. It was all over the news. We didn't all of a sudden go, oh, my God, every black person's a sniper. It's this profile of crimes this that are animal. indicative to black people and white people. See, serial killer, white people. If, if, if a hooker, let's say a hooker, and you got to be in the, in the right place. If you're a hooker, you see creepy white guy, you're going to be like, you're going to be less apt to get in the car with him than you probably would with a black guy. Because black guys aren't known for like killing hookers for the hell of it. Crazy, you know, middle-aged, crazy-eyed white guy. He's going to chop you up in a piece. You're going to be, like, sitting there while your leg is hacksawed off, and he's got a butcher's apron full of your blood on it. See, it, it's an odd thing. We've we've both taken these crimes and made them our own. And, and, and when we step over the boundaries, uh, we're not fearful that that's going to happen again because we know it's so rare. Patrice, we're making you feel a little better. All the uh, kitty porn stories? Oh, God, yeah, stop it. That's one of ours. All white guys. That's white guys' computers ours. loaded with kitty porn. <laughs> that's one of ours. Loaded. <laughs> I defy you to find one white guy's computer that isn't loaded with not, kitty porn. Not many, not many black dudes going into that house to eat the cookies and drink the lemonade. Yeah. Not many black people, we oh know. Oh, my God. Well, you want to say, God to damn, to catch a predator? Not many black people. They're, they're too smart for that crap. You yeah. never see Chris Hansen walk out and go, why don't you have a seat and drink some Kool-Aid? <laughs> Have some Cheetos, and <laughs> let's talk about what you were writing. <laughs> it's never, it's always white guys. You know why? Immediately black person is like, come to your yeah. house. <laughs> Man, you better get out of here. Meet See? me downtown. <laughs> exactly. <All right>. See? <laughs> hey. You guys I'm, got better instincts. I want you to listen to some, because we, we were talking story of the month with Bikini Dude, and then Danny ran in and goes, uh, I got even a better one for the month of April. We do like uh, story of the month. Listen to this, and then I might, I might have a question at, at the end of it. Police in Washington state have arrested a 30-year-old woman accused of posing as a 17-year-old boy and molesting and beating a 14-year-old girl. Police say Lorelai Carpuz lived a double life as Mark G Garnering, as Mark, I should say, garnering enough trust to move in with the girl and her parents. Then the girl says she started to suspect things were not as they seemed. We don't show her face to protect that young victim as she explains to us what happened. Well, I, um... Uh kind of like guessed but then like every time I questioned her she'd get really mad so I didn't I just stopped 
caring because I did see some evidence that she was a she and Carpoz is facing multiple charges of child molestation and rape and is set to be arraigned today in a Washington court. So you got a 30-year-old woman posed as a 14-year-old boy so she could date 14-year-old girl. Is that a black or white? 30-year-old. Absolutely white. Oh, that has white written all over it. That is, there's no way yep. that that is a black crime. Take a load of the picture, my it's friend. It's a black lady? Let me see. It's a black one. No way. There you go. I'd have... I, oh, it messes up our whole show. I went all in. Uh, you went and all I in. lost. It messes up our whole show, my friends. How? You went all in. <laughs> that is such a white crime. Yeah, you went all in. There you go. Cause it's just, Does it turn it all around? It, it takes no savoir faire. The black people like to be cool when we do stuff. Yeah. <laughs> white people like to be tricky and, dece and deceiving. You like yeah. to lie. Black people, it, it, it would seem like this 30 year one would take a lot of pride into, like, talking her way into that with, mm -hmm. this, with this girl. Yeah. That's very surprising. Hey, uh, by the way. Wow, that is. Stephen from Bayshore. Don't kill a messenger, Patrice. He writes, uh, blacks don't need kitty porn. They constantly sleep with their nieces and nephews. <laughs> Who needs pictures? <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> they sleep with their what? nieces and what nephews? Where the, did that where, story come from? That's such a That's known a as redneck, a redneck yeah. southern uh, stereotype. That's how stupid white people are. Y'all make me oh. sick. Stop. Oh, we don't get it right all the time. I'm sorry. You Let's... get it right never the time.